Hello, my gorgeous people. These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please do your own research and we're here to have fun and talk about certain things. I have seen so many, you know, it's amazing how many things Harry and Meghan are doing right now, especially Harry, directed by Meghan. But I really do believe it's Harry's ego his need to upstage anything and everything the royal family do just to show that he's more important and he's more more newsworthy i really do think it's his ego um using or exploiting the beautiful people of new zealand now there's a question i don't understand why i mean is this presenter lady or is this news channel stupid don't they realize that they were used by them? Oh yeah, we promise we're gonna give you an interview for Travelist and blah, 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 blah. And after to and froing, we we received a message from Harry. I, I really I am baffled by it. And the reason why they didn't dare do this to Australia, because Australia probably told them, F you. That's what probably happened. Australia told them, F you. We're not gonna do anything. So. They hop on to the next country because they're running out of countries. The United States don't care about them. Canada doesn't care about them. Uh, the UK doesn't care about them for, for, you know, for certain. Instead of this woman saying we were tricked by Harry and Meghan, or why say anything at all? Just ignore him. She just gave him free publicity. In exchange for what? For a message? For a, from a D-lister? From an ex-royal? from a nobody who's making fun of their culture. I mean, I I am struggling with this because the Harry and Meghan are pretty, pretty sneaky in the sense that they run out of people, they go to the ends of the earth to find anybody who they can con or exploit. You know, um, I am very baffled. So if any of you, my beautiful people from New Zealand are there, Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to make the platform grow. Um, that way, you know, we get more people, like-minded people, like in the channel. And thank you for the donations for the school. It's very much appreciated. Um, so, how low can they go? Now, this Tina Brown, I got a lot of backlash from people about Tina Brown. Because she's saying that, she said it, and I mean, I'm not making this up. She said that Harry invented Invictus Games and that Meghan wanted to be a world global humanitarian within the royal family in her own way. That she didn't understand the assignment. I got bad news for you. She was told repeatedly what the assignment was, but she didn't care to do it. I, I, I really don't, I don't know why it should have, I don't know how many languages I can say that in because for some reason people, this Dina Brown is trying to excuse Meghan Markle. Oh, she didn't understand the assignment. Yeah, no, she did. She just didn't care for it. She just wanted the title because unfortunately, unlike, you know, when you're a CEO of a company, if you get fired, you're no longer the CEO of the company. It doesn't work that way with a royal title. It has to be taken away from you. And what happens is that it looks petty and she's using their race card, which is why, you know, people are hesitant. Also about the fact that if they take away Harry's title, they will have to take away Andrew's title and the queen is not willing to do that. Let's not forget that the queen is 96 years of age and she's, you know, she doesn't want to do that to her own kid, Andrew. I'm pretty sure she doesn't really mind taking away the title from Harry and Meghan, but she does mind taking the title away from Andrew. So this Tina Brown, from all of, for all of you, sent me an email saying that Harry had happy 10 years in the army. From Harry's mouth, he said that he was forced into the army. And the people within the army can tell that he was a racist pig. He was a spoiled, entitled brat who put everybody else at risk. You know, it's like people say what Megan wants, Megan gets. It's the same thing with Harry. 
and we're allowing this right now why are they even coming or i don't think they were invited to the jubilee because had they been invited to the jubilee celebrations they would have said so in their response they would have said we're delighted to accept the queen's invitations to attend the jubilee celebrations i'm sure they would have they would have given an arm and a leg to be able to say that but they can't say that for example miss pedina is going to the jubilee and she's delighted to attend the jubilee <laughs> You know what I mean? So, and they're pawning the children around. Oh, we're going to come with Lilibet and, 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 and what's the other kid's name? Archie. I'm pretty sure they're using that as an excuse to present the kids in the balcony, to force the hand up to, oh, you know, if I come, if we come with Lilibet and Archie, you have to put us in the balcony. No, they don't. First of all, they don't even have the right documentation to be in the line of succession. First of all, second of all, they obtained those titles on their fraud because they never intended to stay in the UK. Third of all, they have lied and slander an institution, a country, and other countries in the Commonwealth. Fourth of all, they committed felony treason. And fifth of all, they're both skanks. They really are. Hair is disgusting. Hair is disgusting. You know, um, it, it, he's just appalling, just like Megan. Harry chose a partner, and it's sticking by this partner. People were comparing about, well, Johnny Depp married, um, married Amber Heard. Yeah, but that quickly disintegrated, didn't it? That quickly disintegrated. And look, I mean, the divorce proceedings and the lawsuit has lasted longer than, than, than the wedding then they were married. Many people have said, why does Johnny Depp keep doing that? You know what? I can see that because those accusations, I have lived them. I, I, I had to go through eight years of misery and I'm not Johnny Depp. And it's taking a huge toll emotionally, psychologically, financially. I am I'm not a wealthy person at all. And, but it's mostly the emotional idea that you're branded out in the world in such a way it's terrible and it limits your earning i mean i i am really truly a nobody guys and i you know i tried to for example do a business deal the other day and then the guy was excited everything and then like a four or five days later he he um he wrote the lawyer the guy's lawyer that was excited wrote to my friend who's a lawyer and said that they wanted nothing to do with me because of what's out on the internet in spite of the fact that there are already a couple of articles and more articles are going to come, you know, and I, and I said I was cleared of everything and I've proven that, you know, not only was I innocent, but there was malicious slander. But people don't care. So I understand why Johnny Depp is doing that. I mean, if it affects me, woman, well, nobody in a very minor scale, can you imagine Johnny Depp? Now, can you imagine the royal family? They're still suffering the backlash from Megan from Megan's lies but the worst part of the, it all is that those lies went uncontested that defamation went uncontested by the royal family uh, they failed to defend the reputation of the monarchy and to hold those accountable in parliament who is the the, the stick that keeps the royal family in check failed to do that on their own and say, wait a minute, Megan, you're saying that the monarchy is racist, that the United Kingdom is racist, while you were pregnant, and we did nothing? No. Megan is a bully, and this shouldn't even be anywhere near the royal family until the bullying accusation, accusation or investigation is completed. If I were the royal family, I would use this and say, you know what, Megan, at the moment, we can't have you around because there's a bullying investigation. And until you're cleared of those charges, you can't be around us because that is how things should be. That is the right message to send, especially if the royal family is fi fighting bullying, mental health issues, because Megan's bullying caused a lot of mental health issues on her PAs and other people around, at least 20 other people. Her behavior on the Australian tour, and now they're exploiting and using another Commonwealth nation, New Zealand. Harry sent the message, who's Harry? 
piece that guy burying his ass exploiting living in a, a 14 bathroom a mansion in Montecito not wanted by anybody and I'm pretty sure the Invictus Games is going to drop his ass too now so for all of you who keep sending who sent me those emails about Tina Brown and I shouldn't malign Tina Brown and get my facts straight get your facts straight because Harry didn't invent anything it was I think it was Patrick Jepson his uh, private secretary who went with him on a trip to the United States and they saw wounded warriors and they said why don't we do something like that in the UK it literally is a copy of that just like Megan stealing stuff now Megan <clears throat> is pawning her kids to the highest bidder right now but the problem is nobody wants to buy nobody ba wants to buy the price is never right with Meghan Markle is it because she still doesn't understand that a royal title does not give it give her gave her status for a few minutes but then she completely depreciated that status she devalued that status with her actions with her lies with her slander with her behavior so all that all that she did was basically smeared that good title of Sussex I really do feel for the people of Sussex so Meghan Markle is out like Bob say, uh, what was the name The name of the guy who said the price is right? I can't remember. If you remember, please put it in the comments, okay? The price is right. Remember? What is the price is right? What price is right for Meghan Markle? Not even a dollar. And it has nothing to do with the children, but her behavior, her actions, and Harry's actions completely take away and smear their kids' reputations, if they have any. Now, it was so funny about Megan reaching a milestone of Mother's Day, um, celebrating Mo Mother's Day. The meaning of the word milestone is a major event, a unique event in life. Being a mom to two kids is not unique in anybody's world. It is amazing to be a mother. But Meghan Markle, that's not a milestone for Meghan Markle. A milestone is what Her Majesty the Queen is doing, which is being 70 years in the, in the throne, being the monarch, kicking ass. That's what a milestone is. But celebrating Mother's Day in the U.S. with two children, I mean, and I'm not being de denigrating or anything, I'm a mom too, but you know. But ha that has to be in the news. Megan has to reach some milestone because, and I'm surprised at something. I am surprised she didn't say because she wants to be so politically correct. Remember how everybody's going birthing people? I'm surprised that Meghan Markle didn't hold a rally against it being called Mother's Day. Because it, it, it um, uh, I know that some people are complaining that it was called Mother's Day because it, it um, alienates trans people. Who, get, who, care, who gives a, an F? But I'm surprised Meghan Markle didn't say happy people's, happy, happy birthing people's day. Because she wants to be so politically correct. Because apparently now you can't be a woman. Apparently the definition of a woman no longer exists. So why didn't she say happy birthing people's day? No, she hasn't reached any milestones. She's never achieved anything on her own. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Please leave me your comments. Um, share, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, Harry did not invent Invictus Games. Megan has not reached any milestones. Um, those two children should not be in the line of succession until the proper documentation is presented. Uh, Megan should not be allowed anybody in the United Kingdom until the bullying investigation is completed. But those are all, only my, my thoughts and opinions. And why is this woman in New Zealand allowing to be exploited? That TV channel was allowed to be exploited because that's all he got, free publicity for travelists in New Zealand. That was how low they were trying to reach anywhere. Why didn't he do that in the United States? That's his home now. That's Harry and Meghan Markle's home. It's not the United Kingdom. Harry said in an NBC thing that he, the United States was his home. So why keep bothering? And why are these people lending themselves to be exploited and used for free publicity? For a mess, just to get a message. You know, that's a slap in the face. That's a slap in the face to New Zealand. How do you people, beautiful people from New Zealand feel? Anyways, uh, thank you for listening. And please like, share, and subscribe, guys. And leave your comments. I want to know what you think.